is this? <laughs> yeah, that's happening. Oh, <laughs> God. Well, I bought this CD because it's such a cult classic. Yeah, I forgot how horrible it actually is. What's that? I only listened to that one song. It's the only song I think I've ever liked for them. And I didn't actually like it. I just, it was popular. <laughs> yeah, I don't, I don't think I can do this for much longer. Yeah. I don't know what he was thinking. I don't know what we were thinking. I was like, oh my gosh, yes. Yeah. But yeah, it's one of those things where like you remember it from like your childhood and then you realize it's actually like horrible. <laughs> right? Yeah. Because it's pretty terrible. Help me. This is the definition of impulse buy. Okay? <laughs> like, you're like, oh, this I know that song. It was a cool song. And like the cover, you're like, oh wow, they probably have some really neat music on there. And then, I'm sorry, if this is like your favorite CD, I'm really sorry, I don't mean to offend you, I just personally, I, I just, this is insane. This is like, like it hurts my face to listen to this. Like I just can't, I can't handle it, I'm sorry. I was telling Amanda, if, if there's a way I could go back and take all the time that I spent looking at this CD and thinking in my brain, hey, this would be a great purchase, if, if I could return that, I would do it, but, but I can't. So now we're stuck with this, this white elephant. <laughs> it's terrible. I'm very sorry if it's your favorite CD, but, well, in more ways than one, I'm very sorry for you, but. <laughs> <laughs> looks really pretty. Looks just like my mandos. <laughs> That's so cool. Oh, I think we parked over more. It wasn't a bad Walmart trip. No, it was not. It was I actually not found well. some yarn on sale. That was nice. And you I found got, your thing. Yeah, I finally found it. I've been looking for a sealer. Uh, it's an acrylic sealer because I, I, I painted all my miniatures, but um, they keep chipping, and I'm stupid because I'm not sealing them. And it's, that's how long it's been since they used to do minis. I totally forgot you have to seal them. So I found some sealer. It's not flat. Um, it's a little glossy, which is okay. Um, it just makes some shiny. It's matte. Yeah, but it's not flat matte. It's it's matte, and matte's just a little. It's just a little glossy, like just a tiny little bit. Um, but it's it's cool. Uh, I'm excited because I finally get to seal my minis, so now they won't chip anytime I try and bring them anywhere. Yeah. Uh, which means now we can use my battle mat when we play D and D, which is incredibly nerdy, but <laughs> I'm pretty excited about it. I don't know. Just having little miniatures just makes it so much more in depth, you know, so. Hey, I don't fall asleep when you tell me about your boring little zatricote. <laughs> but yeah, now we're going home and I'm starving. Hi, starving. I started I'm making dinner before Rob got home. We made like a stir fry kind of thing. Yeah. But then we had to run out to the store, so we didn't get to eat yet, and I'm so hungry. Yeah. I'm so hungry. I'm back. Oh, crazy stoplights. Oh yeah, these things always freak me out. I kind of like them though, like, like I think it's kind of cool. Like I'd be yeah, okay. Yeah, I guess they're like they're that. so you don't run a red light because there's like these lights didn't used to be there, I guess, or something. I don't remember. I read it online why they flash, but it was something like that. Is it because it's a truck route? I thought it was because it was a truck route. I think because it's a truck route. Oh yeah, and they can see from like far away. Oh yeah. That the lights red. So they can stop in time, like stop safely in time. Yeah. So that's why. Yeah, that's it. Because trucks go through, like semi trucks and stuff. But yeah. So now we're going home. Home, home on the rain. Hey, Rob. Yes. You want to listen to some aqua? Yeah. I don't want to do no more. <laughs> no more. Are you scared? Yeah. Oh, oh gosh. Yeah. Oh, gosh. Oh, my gosh. Oh, my gosh. Oh, my gosh. Oh. Oh. I don't, I don't know what's going on there. Gotta go. So tonight we are having skillets. I actually saw it in a cookbook and I just kind of made my own. Sweet so potato and carrot and then other veggies and some mushrooms from the Japanese market. And a fried egg on top and beans. Yes. Kind of a random meal, but... Oh, I don't know. That's 
pretty good, I think. You, know, you got yeah. veggies, you got a little protein. Yeah. Oh, and then so we got home and now we're eating dinner. Mm -hmm. And then we put hot sauce on everything. So. Hot sauce is really good on it. Yeah. And we're watching some battle bots. We're a little bit uh, behind, so. So don't tell us what happens. Yeah. But we put <laughs> hot sauce on everything since we moved to Texas. Yeah, we do. I don't know why. I wonder I if know. there's a correlation. Although that Louisiana hot sauce has always been your favorite. Yeah. Also known as Red Rooster. Yeah, that was my grandpa's favorite, Red Rooster. Yeah. So I've been painting minis again. Um, and as you saw there, in, in, in various states of... Uh, yeah, focus. Focus! Oh, they're in various... Woo, let's get some light. Oh, that is terrible lighting. Gosh, what am I doing? That is awful. This is some weird... Weird, like, cinema lighting. There's dramatic lighting. Um, yeah, I don't like that. Here, how about... Is that better? There. Ah! This washed myself out. <laughs> okay. Um, I've started painting miniatures again, uh, since I kind of started playing, um, D&D a little bit. I figured... You know, why not? Um, it's kind of fun, too. It's, like, relaxing. And I've been playing video games a lot, and I kind of need to take a break and, and do something a little bit more creative. That I'm not amazingly good, uh, but I am proud of some of them. Like, I'm really proud of this guy here. If you can see him. Kind of a... I know it's, like, super nerdy. I don't know. I can't... I don't think I can get to focus. But anyway. I have pain on my nose. <laughs> That's funny. Uh, so the uh, camera battery died again. I think we need to buy a new one. Uh, anyway, new so battery. yeah, new battery, not new camera. So um, yeah, I mean, I, I'm 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 pretty happy with them. I mean, you know, they're like I said, they're in various kind of states, and it's kind of silly, but it, it it keeps me busy, and 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 I kind of enjoy it, and I have fun doing it. Um, and that's why I bought that that finishing uh, spray stuff as well. Is so. Uh, so they won't chip and, and, and paint and the paint will fall off. But uh, I, I just forgot how relaxing it can be. I think, how long have I been doing? Like an hour or two hours? Two hours. Like, yeah, two hours only feels like it's been ten minutes. Uh, but it's cool and it was exciting and it was nice. And I think it's fun, you know. Uh, and hopefully I, I can talk to my players and, and then we'll see if, if they'll be interested in using their own minis or whatever. And, um. But it's cool. I don't know. It just it's it's fun and I enjoy it. So that's my little my little hobby. Obviously, I'm nowhere near as good as Amanda. She's with her little crochet. She's made this little guy. I think he's like super cute. He's, a little, he's one of the dwarfs. Yeah, he's like a little dwarf from Snow White. Seven dwarfs. He got a little beard and little hands and little dumpling kind of man. It's kind of cool. Yeah, and then she made a Yoshi. I thought he was really cool, too. I think she did a really good job with this guy. He has a shell on the back. Oh, yeah, he's got his little shell saddle on. Cool, and this is my... I like this gun, too. She made a little one-up mushroom. And very, very first, she made a little Totoro. And, um, this is when you know she was still learning how to do it, but I think it was pretty good for her very, very first guy. Uh, we were watching this thing on Netflix, Very British Problems. Uh, it's about problems of being British, uh, and it's actually really funny. So if you have Netflix, uh, definitely check that out, because it's, it's really funny. Uh, well, that was unexpected. I need to fix this. So I'm I'm just gonna hold it so I don't break anything else anymore <laughs> again. Oh my goodness! I'm That's sorry. Crazy. I know. No, it's not your fault. I okay. broke the thermostat. Things happen. I fixed it. Sort of. Yeah. No. Look. See. Now it's accurate. Now it says it's 85 and it's at 85 yeah. and it's on. It's actually an improvement. I think. I think I fixed it more than it was broken. Because it never really wrote the temperature properly. Mm -hmm. So we hope you enjoyed today's vlog. Make sure you give it a big thumbs up. Leave a friendly, fun comment below. And subscribe if you haven't subscribed. We have new videos every single day, including yesterday. And tomorrow. And we will see you all tomorrow. Ciao, ciao. Adwani. Adwani.